What's good with y'all, man? How to get mind control over the girls you're dating, over the women you are seeing. What we want to do, guys, the goal of this is to get her infatuated with you. Okay, to the point where you damn near don't even have to hit her up. You know she's going to hit you up. You know what I'm saying? When you're dating a chick, what you always want to do is just make sure. Keep it at the top as much as you can. Okay, I understand. Listen, I, I've i said this since I've been doing this. It's always a roller coaster with women. It's always a roller coaster of emotions. You know that there's always going to be ups and downs as far as her interest goes. But what you want to always make sure is that the, that that floor, right, the bottom of her interest is as high as it possibly can. So the ceiling can go all the way through the roof. The ceiling is, you know what I'm saying, infinite damn near. But the bottom is still a good level to where, at the very least, you know she's still feeling you. You know what I'm saying? She's still in your gravitational pull. You know what I mean? And this is what we mean, guys, when, you know, whenever we talk about long game, short game, it doesn't matter regardless. You need to make sure that whenever you see this chick, seduction mode turned on, um, you make sure you're the guy that is, you know, obviously calm, cool, collected. But I just want you to make sure that you're keeping the sexual energy as high as possible. You know, being a little more flirtatious, making sure that you're always with physical touch with her. Because one thing that I noticed that, you know, when chicks get so into me that when we're dating and stuff, when we're, you know, dating, when we're just seeing each other, really, it's just about seeing each other. And every time y'all see each other, y'all get out, bro. It's always some good old sex. You know what I'm saying? It's good fucking. It's good sex. You want to make sure that you keep physical contact up. You want to make sure that anytime your energy is expressed towards this woman, that is up. It's high so that she wants to gravitate towards it. She knows that every time she sees you is going to be an experience, not just because of where you're going, just because of the energy that you give off. She's feeling your masculinity. Like she just wants to be around you because every time she's around you, she knows it's a good feeling. This was like, for instance, when you're talking to a chick on the phone, like I make a point, you know what I'm saying? When I say seduction mode turned on, like I'm saying like, as soon as you see, okay, bet, get in my zone, All right? Let me get in my zone. Let me get on my shit, bro. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Time to activate. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to I'm ready to spit game. I'm ready to be spontaneous on something. I'm ready to just be attractive. I'm ready to just be magnetic. You gotta activate it. As soon you just gotta activate that mindset. You gotta activate that energy about you. And that translates to the phone call, bro. That translates through the text. I'm making sure it's short, concise to the point. And I can do that because what women do is they feel your energy, they feel your demeanor. They understand it when they're in person and that's how they're going to get the communication through text. And when it's over phone, make sure my energy is high. It's like a sales call. And, you know, maybe that's why I'm so good at it because I used to work in sales, bro. I used to work at the bank and stuff, bro. Like you really got to pep people up damn near. You got to really inspire people when you're talking to them to want to be like, yo, I, I just want to be around this person. So I'm talking to a chick, like, even if I had a hangover the night before, I remember I had a hangover the night before, like, chick had just, I think I had dropped a chick off somewhere. I think I had dropped her off somewhere to go to brunch with her friends or something. She wanted me to come. I was like, hell no. Like, I'm, I really had other plans with a bitch, but got back to my crib. I'm getting ready for that. But I, like, took a nap because I was like, I need to, you know, I need to restore my energy. She's calling me up. I got about 30 minute hour nap in. Those are clutch as fuck. I'm seeing the phone. I'm like, oh shit. It's tired of shit. I said, activate it. Hey, what's up, babe? Like I turned it on. I turned it on instantly because I know that when I'm talking to this chick, I want her to be in a place where, yo, I want to see this man. This is how you capture their soul. This is how you get women keeping them high interest every time they're talking to you every time they're seeing you they know it's just gonna be good vibes from you right and me my good vibes is obviously smooth it's obviously yo i'm feeling up on some butt cheeks i'm like girl you lucky we in public right here why why is that we can go anywhere okay see i'm trying to get her in that mindset i might just take you behind the bushes and start clapping those cheeks 
right? Let's find a nice, a nice, a nice bathroom to fuck in. Right. I'm trying to do adventurous, spontaneous stuff. I'm trying to make sure that she knows that my, you know, my testosterone is going for her. You know what I'm saying? But not in a thirsty way, just in a way that keeps the excitement high. Because me, guys, I'm trying to bust as many nuts as possible. I want to make sure she wants me to bust nuts. I want to make sure she's in the mood for me at all times. I want to make sure she's in the mood to attack my Johnson with her throat. You know what I'm saying? To hold my Johnson against his will with her throat at any time. I be driving and then she just want to pull down my pants and top me off. Like, I want a girl with that level of interest in me as long as possible. Like I said in the beginning, guys, it, and, and this is why you don't need to beat yourself up about it, right? It's going to take uh, time. It's going to take the level of understanding that when you're talking to a chick, you all, you're already scoping, peeping their demeanor and how they, what they respond to, right? So when you get a hold of that, now it's just about making sure you're doing the things that they like about you as much as possible. Because as soon as that first argument happened, as soon as that first thing happened, where, you know, it's like, damn, now all of a sudden that honeymoon phase is over. Now, now she tripping now every now and again, because she know you really don't give a fuck about her. You don't want it to go there yet. As long as possible. You want to hold off on that. You want to make sure she's just into you. She don't want to get into any serious conversation with you. Guys, avoid family talk, deep trauma talk and all this stuff. You want to make sure you avoid those kind of conversations as long as possible, because what that does is plant a seed in her as to, oh, he might be able to save me. He should be able to fix this and hold all this baggage. I don't even want you to take it there. And please don't be trying to get serious with these. Like if you're trying to get serious with her, it's going to go there anyway. But just keep that off as long as possible. Hopefully you did your discernment. You know what I'm saying? You made sure her body count ain't high as a bitch and she ain't for the streets. I'm hoping you, I'm assuming you, I'm giving you guys the benefit of the doubt and I'm assuming that you're doing your due diligence. Regardless on that though, you just want to avoid any kind of serious thing. That's why I'm saying keep the mood always sexual tension between y'all. I want to keep, I'm keeping it like that all the time. You know what I'm saying? I, I can never forget one time it's been a lot of times though but one particular time i know for a fact like when she started talking to me she wanted to make me wait you know what i'm saying she wanted to be like oh well i don't really i'm not hearing none of that shit i don't do this you know how females say that shit because they don't want you to be the guy that just fucks them and then dips no 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 i'm not gonna do that to you baby i'm gonna just keep fucking you though i'm gonna keep dropping this dick off i'm gonna keep doing it over and over again and eventually you're gonna get addicted addicted you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to, I and I told her straight up that one night too. I, I think that was the first night I met her out. And I was like, hey, listen, babe, like, you know, I'm just, I, I'm just a man with a lot of testosterone. And I like to, uh, you know, I'd like to just share that with you. You know what I'm saying? Only you, babe. I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to hurt you or nothing. I just like require a lot of sex, a lot of good sex. And then she's like, oh, well, okay. That is, I mean, yeah, I do like that too. And I do enjoy that too. I'm like, yeah, you enjoy that too, right? Like you're going to love it. It's going to be great. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pitching it to her like that. You know what I'm saying? We start doing that stuff, man. Every single time I saw her out, like I think the next time I saw her out, even I said, right. Her friends had dipped for me. I said, you like me out in public with your friends because I you know I'll do something to you right now, girl. She look both ways, make sure nobody around. And she leans over and, and says in my ear, no, you're lucky. You're lucky. See, I want that kind of stuff. I want that energy. Because later that night, get back to the crib. She showed me why. She said, no, you're lucky. She showed me why we got back to the crib. You know what I'm saying? I want that kind of energy. I want that kind of enthusiasm about a chick fucking me. As, as much as possible, as high as it possibly can, as high as that interest can go and at least let that floor, that low level be just a stagnant, you know, nice level where she's still cordial and shit is just, hey, she ain't hitting you up as much. Or maybe it was a, it was a, a busy week for her at work and she don't even, but she don't want to bother you with that. So she'd rather just not be there, right? She don't want to bother you with all that headache and talking to you about it because I'm not your man. You know what I'm saying? I keep the, the tension high, the sexual tension high to keep that as much as possible, to keep her jumping on your bones. That's what you want to do. 
No serious talk. Don't take it anything serious as, as much as you possibly can. Eventually, she's going to have that spill over. Eventually, she's going to try to lean on your shoulder, and then it's going to be up to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you just dating this chick and you just clapping, you just trying to keep it cordial, it'd be like, hey, I ain't at your man. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't got to come and call your daddy because I'm only your daddy in the sheets. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to talk to somebody. This bitch, I ain't Dr. Phil for your problems. Hell no. Especially doing what I do. Nah, I'm going to help my boys out. You know what I'm saying? When I have my consultations, that's when I put on that hat. That's to help out, you know, the men over here in this space that's over here trying to get right. That's what I do. But with the bitches, oh, no, I'm not saving none of y'all. Not saving none of y'all. Keep that bad boy energy on you so they keep it at fun as long as possible. And... When you dropping that dick off, you do it efficiently. You get them dick crazy, dick drunk on you. Just make sure, like I said, as long as you keeping your energy up and it's a good experience every time y'all meet up, she will fall in love, deeply in love with you. And you laying it down and you dropping that dick off good. Oh man, she gonna fall in love. You, you really don't got to do much. It's going to be to the point where she literally hitting you up all day, every day, which can get annoying. I know. But it's literally you just reciprocate, sending you TikToks and all this. Look, and then, then this, and then, hey, look at, and this song came on, it reminded me of you. I know, because you really, really love when I be dropping that dick. I know you love me, baby. I know. Your soul is mine. Now it's yours. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, keeping it sexual tension-wise, right? In my opinion, that's how you do it, bro. In my opinion, you just keep it as high as possible with the sexual tension. It's a good experience every time she sees you. And that's it, bro. As long as you don't take it serious, you open a whole different bag of shit then. That's when you got to have to look at your clock. That's when she's going to ask you, what are we? Okay, this is why you want to avoid the pillow talking. Because if you get in a deep shit with her, she's going to really... I mean, if you want to sell that dream, bro, then go ahead, right? Because that's the other way. You do all those two things I just talked about, and then you sell the dream on top of it, man. But just be be careful because that's when they will literally go crazy, right? You tell the bitch that you really feeling her too, and you like, oh yeah, baby, I love you too. With boy, I'm telling you, she starts saying I love you, hold back on that shit as long as you can. You start saying I love you too again, oh man. She starts opening up about her past relationships. and But with you, it's just something special. I feel like we're meant to be. And telling you, bro, you want to sell that dream right back? Yeah, baby, I love you so much. And, ooh, I just want to drop the dick off again on you. I'm ready right now again to drop it off on your forehead, baby. Go ahead. All right, bro. The crazy going to come out then very soon. Very A lot sooner. Crazy comes out a lot sooner when you try to sell them a dream and be on all that. Dropping dick off good. Good experience with you every time she sees you. Good energy. Magnetic energy. And then all of a sudden, you selling a dream to her? You got a crazy bitch. That's a recipe for a crazy bitch. So be careful. Use this wisely.